Yeah, the first thing I want to say is that it probably would have been better to have our sports guy Chet out here today. I was told it was going to be a junker sled race, so I brought this. But luckily I had this outfit in my trunk underneath the deer, so uh, I'm going to make the most out of it. Maybe I can learn a little something. Uh, let's go check out and see what's going on. guys behind me are saddling up. They just had to fix a few things on their engine after having accidentally filled half their tank full of PBR this morning. But they're ready to go now. Now this one here is a Polaris. And you know the old saying, Polaris, like a rock. Now this one here is an interesting model. It actually runs on Metamucil. I don't know what that logo is, but it looks inappropriate. This was the sled that village founder Thomas Three Lakes rode into town on. Still in good shape. As you can see behind me, most of the town of Three Lakes turned out for this event. All hoping to see people hurt themselves. I gotta ask, why do you do this to yourself? We get everyone together and $500 snowmobiles that most likely are gonna break or break you and it's a blast. It's gotta be noon somewhere, right? For 200 bucks, this baby could be yours. Let me ask, is there anything wrong with this machine? All right, now up here in Three Lakes, uh, we get around by snowmobile about eight months out of the year. And these are some of the majestic ponies that you guys get to saddle up today. Yep. Now, so tell us, what does it take to be an official junker sled? Well, what we're looking at here are sleds that are 1990 and older. They have uh, engine limitations, and these sleds have no suspension to speak of. really working hard at it. Really giving her a goal. Walking around Junker Sled Weekend is the same kind of feeling I get anytime I walk around any Walmart. No pressure now. You can do it. Come on now. Hey, hey, we got her. So these are yours here. These are my now, machines, yep. How much money did you waste on these? Tell you what though, it's a real friendly crowd here. I've only been here 25 minutes and I've already been offered seven different kinds of domestic beer. So how many people thought this was a good idea today? Uh, I think we got 30 for the main and then some girls racing, some older guys racing, and then we've got a two-up race that we're gonna do later on too. Now these steps behind me here, these are made out of snow, so they're only around in the winter. Believe it or not, I'm here with the town chairman of Three Lakes and you're actually racing in this thing today. I'm gonna let her rip, tater chip. Well, I gotta know, how, how much do you regret your decision to be out here today? Uh, every bit of it. Every day I, I wake up, well I woke up this morning thinking, well number one it's cold, number two I'm old. Why am I doing this? But the answer is because it's fun, and it's fun. Someone told me Liam Neeson was gonna be here. It's the chain loop, it's champion chain loop. It's in that box of that toad. He needs his lube. I need the lube. It's not a party in Wisconsin until you get the chili and the brats and the ice cold beast. You're pushing what, probably 10, 12 miles an hour? Uh, I bet we're all hitting 45, 50 on the straights out there. Holy cow, you were flying on that thing. Plus, I gotta say, you look mighty fine in a suit. You, got, you gotta dress for the podium. Gotta, gotta, dress, right. for, gotta dress for the podium. Yeah. If you ain't first, you're last. You're last, that's right. I heard he was disqualified for those boots. What we got behind me right here is a before and after. See, these guys just finished up today and they're taking pieces off their sled and they're gonna recycle them over here in this barrel. Nice machine you got here too. Can you tell us about it? No, oh, it's a bit of a Frankenstein. It was an Indy Trail. Now it's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you might be a redneck. That's all I got. I'll be 
honest, when I came out here today, I, I didn't really know what to expect, but this turned out to be uh, one pretty classy event. I mean, of all the ways you could die, this has to be right up there with the coolest, am I right? And who knows, maybe next year I'll be back with my own trash heap on skis. But with that, I think we've safely proved that once again, Three Lakes is the greatest place on earth.